In this video, I will teach you how to make this exact simulation in Blender using the Flip Fluids add-on. It is going to be a beginner-friendly tutorial, and as always, it's going to be quick and easy. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing S, then Set to scale the default cube on the z-axis, and then press G, then Set to uh, grab it on the z-axis. And this is going to be our inflow object, where the slime flows in. And then let's animate it. So uh, press N to open up the uh, sidebar. And then press I to keyframe the location. And then I'm going to go 50 frames forward. So 1 plus 50. And then press G, then Y to uh, grab the inflow object on the Y axis. And then press I to uh, keyframe once again. Then I'll go to frame 101 and then set it back to zero on the y-axis and then press I to keyframe so that we have a uh, loop. And then we can drag the top right corner and go into the uh, graph editor. And then we're going to duplicate these um, keyframes. So uh, press Shift D, X, then 100 to grab the keyframes, 100 frames on the x-axis, which is the time axis, and then press Shift R to repeat the previous actions so that we get a uh, loop, as you can see. And then the next step is to add the obstacle cylinders. So we'll press Shift A, and then add a uh, cylinder and then press R, Y, then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. And then to smooth out the cylinder, we need to go into edit mode and add mean increase to uh, both sides. So hold in shift to select multiple faces and then set the mean increase value to one so that the two faces stay flat when we add the subdivision surface modifier to add additional polygons to the cylinder. And then next, I'm going to apply the modifier for the simulation. And then press S, then X to scale the cylinder on the X axis. And then next, I'm going to rotate the cylinder on the Z axis. So press R, set, then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis. And then I'm going to animate it back and forth on the x-axis. Press number one for a front view. And then press G to uh, grab. And then let's duplicate it a uh, few times before we animate it. Then press Shift D and Set to move the duplication on the z-axis and then hold in shift and select the other cylinder and then press shift D then X to move the duplication on the X axis and then G then set to move them on the uh, set axis. And then next we can uh, scale them down on the uh, Y axis. So hold in shift to select all of them and then S then Y to scale them on the Y axis. And then press G then Y to grab them on the Y axis. Okay, so uh, next I'm going to animate them. So let's go to the first frame. And then to keyframe the location, you can press I. And then we're going to do exactly the same as we did for the inflow object, except this time it's going to be 80 frames between each keyframe. So uh, just animate them back and forth. And then once you're done with the uh, loop, we can duplicate the keyframes on the time axis so that it loops forever. And what I'm doing is uh, copying the location of the cylinder on the other side when you want to set the new location. And then I just press I to keyframe the uh, new location. So uh, because it's a loop, 
with uh, 80 frames for uh, each side. We need to duplicate the keyframes and move them 160 frames on the x-axis in the uh, graph editor. So uh, try to uh, do this yourself, it's not that hard. Or you can just copy exactly what I'm doing. Okay, and then we can go into the uh, graph editor. And then press Shift D, X, then 160. And then press Shift R multiple times to repeat the previous actions. And then you can do the same for the rest of the cylinders. I obviously speed it up this part because it becomes very repetitive. As you can see, we have the animation. And then we can save. So file, save as. And then you can save the file wherever you want on the computer. Give it a name. And then save. And then I'm going to turn the uh, object on the top into an inflow object. So let's go into the physics settings. And if you have the flip fluids add on, you have the flip fluid settings. And I'm going to select the inflow object with five sub steps to increase the quality of the inflow slime. And then we can select the cylinders and turn these into obstacles. And by turning the cylinders into obstacles, we'll make sure that the slime does not go through the cylinders, but instead interact with the cylinders. And then we can press Shift A and add a cube. This is going to be the domain, which is the border of the simulation, and also where we can edit all of the simulation settings for this flip fluids simulation. And we're going to make sure that everything is within the uh, domain. And I'm going to say one more time, just press Control Shift S to create another save. And then in the flip fluid settings, I'm going to turn this into a domain. And we can increase the resolution later to increase the quality of the simulation. And then under flip fluid world, we can uh, change the uh, thickness of the uh, fluid so that it becomes slime instead of just water. So uh, you can enable viscosity and then set the base value to 10, which means that it becomes a lot thicker and also increase the accuracy so that the simulation becomes more accurate, even though it's going to take a bit longer to bake. And as you can see, it uh, looks okay. So uh, next, I'm going to uh, save one more time. And then we can add some lighting and material before we do the final bake. So uh, I'm going to add an environment texture. And then add a uh, background image. You can find these for free in the link in the description. And then we can press Shift A to uh, add a uh, floor. Then press S to scale. And then press G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And for a uh, slime simulation like this one, I recommend switching from EV to cycles. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. And I'm going to set the uh, number of samples to 150 for now and make sure that you have a uh, decent tile size as well if you use the GPU. If you only use a CPU, it's okay with 64 by 64. Okay, and then I'm going to select this light and turn it into a sun. Right now it's too powerful, so I need to set it to uh, maybe around 5. And then next, we need to select the uh, slime itself and add a material to the uh, slime. So uh, let's add a new material. And for this one, I'm going to use the uh, glass material. And then change the color. I'm going to set it to a uh, green color. 
and then you can just experiment with the different values for roughness and the IOR as well. And I'm going to make the background completely transparent so that we can add a uh, background later. I'm also going to uh, decrease the roughness of the slime, which I think looks better, and then save one more time. Okay, and then next, press Control Alt Numpad Zero to set the camera to the uh, current view. So again, Control Alt Numpad Zero, and then you can select the camera and increase the end value to increase the range of the camera. And also lock the camera to view so that uh, the camera follows your point of view. Okay, so I'm going to set it around here. And then make the dimensions square by setting it to 2160 times 2160. And I'm also going to animate the uh, camera. So just move it slightly. And then make sure to keyframe both the location of the camera and the rotation of the camera. And then press T in the timeline and then set the interpolation to linear so that the speed of the camera is constant. Next, we need to create a folder for the final output. So I created a slime folder and then just select that folder for the final PNGs. Okay, and once you have the noising, we also need to make sure that the sun is in the right rotation. And as you can see, we have some lines, which means that we need to decrease the size of the plane to remove them. Okay, so I think this looks fine. And because I'm just doing tiny adjustments to the scene right now, I'm speeding up this part to uh, not waste your time. Okay, so let's do a test render with one image. And as you can see, the uh, slime looks good. So uh, I'm going to add some colors to the cylinder as well. So we can try red, for example. Let's see how that looks. I think I'm going to switch to uh, black or uh, gray instead. And then once you're done with all of the uh, settings, we can uh, do one more save. And then render it as an uh, animation. So go to render and then render animation. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want more Blender content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching.